Hi there. Oh, it's he- Oh. Oh. Well. Really know what else can do How are you fading? Ah, I was wondering. There you are. I was just telling Fukuzawa here everything. You need a poison and its antidote, you say? I suppose the easiest poison to acquire would be that of the blowfish. Very astute. Consumption Bambi damned. Everyone's sneaking in a bite or two on the side. Uh, I really don't know if this is a good idea. 
If I make the tiniest of mistakes formulating the concoction, you'll wind up dead. That may be so, but I'm already risking my life standing up to those government goons. I've got to put it all on the line, you see? Ah! I suppose I should get you up to speed. See? The plan is... Those officials told me they'd have me beheaded. So I thought I'd go ahead and die before they get the chance. Izuka will drop dead in front of them, then come back to life when the time is right. It's sure to work, as long as we handle the poison perfectly, uh, I think. Let's just see them try to make their threats to a dead man. Aha! This is brilliant! Even for me. I... I thought I might try mixing a few chemicals into lime water, but there's really no guarantee. Have faith in your abilities, Fukuzawa. Look, if you fail, I promise I won't haunt you from beyond the grave. Let's see then. First, we need some poison from a blowfish. Think you could wrangle some up for me? There's a place nearby that'll serve blowfish if you ask. They might have some poison to spare. When you're done, just bring the poison to me. Welcome, welcome. Just you signing today? Uh, another bro fish aficionado, eh? Sadly, we're all out, but so is everyone else. Some samurai families from Choshu bought all the bro fish in the market. I suppose the quickest way would be to ask the people who bought them if you could have one. Ah, uh, but that would be tricky. Those folks from Choshu really like their brofish. But I won't stop you from trying. I heard they're having some sort of feast in Juniten Shrine, south of Kanai. Bet they want to indulge in all that brofish where nobody could see them. If all works out and you get yourself a brofish, bring it here. So I can whip up something delicious. That's your...
So you got yourself a brofish? All right then, let's make you something that'll make your taste buds dance. I'll just go prepare the fish. What? I, I thought you wanted to eat some brofish. Uh, I can't just extract this poison and give it to you. That's far too dangerous. You're telling me you're not going to use it to kill someone. I... I suppose the fish's poison isn't that strong. All right, all right. Take it. It's yours. And take the fresh too, will you? It's pro fish after all. Can't let it go to waste. If you're done here, please take your fish and go. I know you. You're the thief that stole my blowfish. I was going to feast on that blowfish today. You're not getting a single slice. Give it back. Now. Uh huh. You've prepared it with such skill. Very well. In recognition of your feet, I'll take it slightly easier on you. I know you. You're the thief. 
Not the slightest. Did you get your hands on some blowfish poison? Very nicely done. I suppose they don't get many requests for just the poisonous parts. Mr. Igashichi is a peculiar one, isn't he? Most people would quail at the prospect of poisoning themselves. I suppose he just doesn't want the government to interfere with his inventions. But one can't help but to be impressed by how much he's willing to put at stake. If you'll excuse me, I'll get started in the back. Just a moment. Sorry for the wait. This poison here is for Mr. Igashichi, and you can hold on to the antidote. It should, as I've weakened the poison's effects considerably. If all goes as planned, he'll just look dead, not actually be dead. Honestly, 
I'd rather he called off the whole affair, but he's clearly made up his mind. He should be back in the photographic studio by now. Do go and deliver what he needs. <laughs>